nicely done, and I have to say thanks to my technical advisor here. I appreciate that. All right, we're going on to Tenere plus K plus the infinitive. Now, uh, a minute ago we talked about I K plus the infinitive when we're talking about giving instructions to just non-specific people. It doesn't matter who we're talking about. We're just kind of throwing it out there. This one, Tenere plus K plus the infinitive, this formula, is used when we want to tell a specific person or group of people what they have to do. For example, if I'm talking to the whole class going, hey guys, there's a test coming up, I'd say, I can do the eye. You got to study everybody, you know, everyone and nobody. But let's say there's a particular student. We'll call him, what was the name? Gern Blanston. And I say, hey Gern, your grade stinks. Uh, you need to study. I would actually use this form. I'd say, tienes que estudiar. Let's go over how this works. When you say, tengo. Tengo. Okay. For this, oh, by the way, this is the verb tener, meaning to have. Okay. When we tack this little word onto the end of it, tener plus k, we're changing the meaning of the sentence from to have into to have to. So we're changing it just a little bit. So let me hear you say, tengo. Tengo. Tengo means what? I have. I have. If I add the K, I'm saying what? I have, I have to. to. Give me a tienes. Tienes. What's tienes mean? You have. You have. Add the K. You have to. You have to. Give me a tiene. Tienes. What's that mean? He or she or usted or it has. Give me a tiene K. Tiene K. Now what are we saying? It has. It has. He has to. She has to. It has to. Or you and the usted form have to. Give me a tenemos. Tenemos. Give me a tenemos que. Tenemos que. What are we saying with tenemos que? We have to. Good. Give me a tenéis. Tenéis. Say like a Spaniard. Vosotros tenéis. Vosotros tenéis. Good. Put a que. Que. Now what are we saying? We have to. Last one. Give me a tienen. Tienen. Tienen que. Tienen que. What are we saying now? They have to or? All y'all have to. Good. Now, when we plug the infinitive onto the end, we're saying what the person has to do. So go back to Gern. I say, hey, Gern, you have to study. Tienes. Okay. What's the verb to study? Estudiar. Estudiar. Leave the estudiar alone. Don't change it. Okay. I know we just went through verb conjugation, so don't get confused with this. This Actually, this is really close to how we say it in English. You have to study. We don't say, you have, you study. Okay, we leave the infinitive alone. Okay, uh, if we had, uh, what's another verb from the list there? Hablar. Hablar, okay. Hey, I have to speak in Spanish. Okay, how would you say I have to speak? Tengo. Go to the yo form, it's tengo, add what? Okay. What's the infinitive to speak? Hablar. Tengo que hablar español. I have to speak Spanish. Okay, uh, what was that? Usar? Okay, what are we going to use? Our desk. The, we're going to use our desks. Good answer, as opposed to something else that could have been screamed out. Yeah. <laughs> How do you say we have? Tenemos. Tenemos. What do we add? Hey. What's the verb to use? Usar. Tenemos que usar. How do you say our desks? Ooh, possessive adjectives. What is it? Vamos. What's a desk? Escritorios. Escritorios. What's ours again? Not me, not tu, not su, but? Yes. Nuestros. Nuestros escritorios. Put it all get together. Tenemos que usar nuestros escritorios. And it all works out. Now again, the difference I want to make very, very clear is that we use this when we're talking to or about specific people. You have to do this. Oh man, we have to do something. I have to do something. Okay? But the IK, flip it over here. The IK is used when we're just kind of throwing the information out there, like my old driver's ed teacher. When it's snowing, you got to slow down. Okay, you with me? Any questions? No. All right, stop it.